the Sam Laporta thing. And guys, look, I know that there are a lot of armchair quarterbacks that are out there right now, but you have to look at it in the context of the Detroit Lions were playing for something yesterday. They they absolutely were. They were playing for the seeding. The Eagles are just circling the drain right now. They got cooked by the Giants. And remember this, everybody, for the why did why didn't you bench everybody crowd? Remember this. In the second quarter yesterday, the Commanders had the lead over the Cowboys. They had the lead over the Cowboys. So, you know, was it a 19 to 1 pregame money line parlay? Yes, it was. But in the second quarter, they had the lead. You can't you can't operate like that, guys. There's still something on the line. You had to go win the football game. Somebody had to play. So, I don't does it suck? Yeah, it sucks. But I'm not going to cook Lions management. And I'm not going to cook Dan Campbell and say, what are you doing, you know, putting Sam Laporte out there and putting him in harm's way, man? These things are going to happen. Here's the deal. You guys remember, and I'm going to compare this a lot this week, so get comfortable with it. Remember in 2014 when they lost that playoff game and everybody knew the music was over and everyone knew that Sue was leaving and everybody knew that the party had ended? Now with what this team has done, now with what Brad Holmes has done to this team, and I, and I see the, the, the talk and will the Lions sign Zach Ertz. Remember, he got cut by the Cardinals like two months ago. Like, like People act like Zach Ertz is the Pro Bowl Zach Ertz that had 1,000 yards for the Eagles like a half a decade ago. He's not that anymore, guys. He's unemployed and been unemployed. He's been almost gone as long as Big Mike Gentry was from the show. Not quite, but, you know, it, it was it was close to that. So, you know, again, um, I'm not going to sit there. I'm not going to sit there and cry about it. 